In this video, I'll be going over maca root and its effectiveness for men's health such as sexual libido and testosterone. So maca is an herb that is used in Peru to enhance sexual performance and fertility in both men and women. Lots of people swear by it on the internet and in reviews, but in this video, we'll be diving deep into some of the research behind the plant to see if it actually has any basis for its potential benefits. And at the end, I'll also go over some maca products and if I recommend a supplement. So let's get into it. First on the list is this study. Now, in patients with SSRI-induced sexual dysfunction, the study wanted to see if low-dose or high-dose maca root extract was effective in reversing their symptoms. Now, for this first study, most of the patients were women. There was 20 participants total, which is pretty small. 17 of them were women, three of them were men. So there are some men in this study, which is what I'm gonna focus on for the majority of the benefits of maca root. Um, but for the most part, we don't know if the women will translate to men, but I just want to kind of go over this one first because kind of get it out of the way and see if there's any benefit, you know, just regardless in terms of maca root. So even though there's 17 women in the study, there are some men in it. So let's kind of go over the results and see what it is. So again, 20 participants, but only 10 actually completed the study. From the results of the study, we see that 1.5 grams per day of maca did not show any benefit while the three grams per day had significant improvement in ASEX and MGH SFQ scores. There's are basically just two different questionnaires to kind of assess how people are feeling because we don't really have any lab test or biomarker to determine if someone has you know, the benefits that we're looking for. So we have to kind of resort to a questionnaire. And those are the two that they kind of uh, have shown benefit in terms of maca root at those doses. Now, this study is specifically for SSRI induced sexual dysfunction. So it's not for, you know, otherwise healthy adults. Mostly women also for this study as well, so keep that in mind. But the population is people that are taking an antidepressant, and there's plenty and plenty of problems with antidepressants. First of all, they only have about a 50% effectiveness. So right off the bat, antidepressants don't help everyone that takes it. They don't even help basically half the people that take it. That's one of the problems with antidepressants. The second one is that pretty much everyone, even if they feel the effects of it or not in terms of positive benefits, will feel the side effects. And the main ones that people complain about is reduced sexual libido and sexual function. So that's why they kind of focused on seeing if maca will help this patient population because a lot of people that do take SSRIs, we know have you know some kind of sexual function complaint. It's good to see that they focus on a specific group of people, but again, we can't extrapolate it to otherwise healthy individuals or you know mostly men because that's not what this study focused on. I just wanna kind of read the results for that, um, for this first one. So for women on SSRIs, SSRIs, it did show benefit based on some of these questionnaires. Now let's go over another study, which is now focused on men. So this one is a 12 week double blind placebo control trial in 57 healthy men aged 21 to 56 years old, receiving either 1.5 or three grams of maca root or placebo. So very different from the first study, right? First one had people taking a medication that caused sexual dysfunction. Whereas this one is otherwise healthy men. We don't have any reason to believe they have an underlying condition for their sexual dysfunction, and they have a pretty healthy range of men, young and old, and um, a good amount of them at around, what was it, 57? So a pretty good amount of men in this study. So the results here found that after eight weeks, the men stated their sexual desire increased. So if we look at table one here, we'll see the results of the study kind of in an easier to read format. So in terms of placebo, obviously those are the levels of the people that increased and decreased, but you know, it's kind of all over the place, but that's what happened with the placebo group. Now for the maca group, after four weeks, when you compare them, to what they were doing four weeks ago, the same group of people. So you're not comparing them to placebo. When you compare the people at four weeks that took maca versus when they just started the study with not taking any maca, they did state that their sexual desire increased. However, if you compare it to placebo, it was not statistically significant. That means that the difference in the maca group and the placebo group after four weeks was due to just basically chance. We don't know, we can't say specifically that it's because of the maca supplement itself. However, after eight weeks, it was a difference. The reason the difference here is now much bigger and it is statistically significant for eight weeks and 12 weeks, meaning the people that took maca as a supplement had much higher levels or much higher sexual desire than those that just took placebo. So the benefits of maca after eight weeks were very pronounced compared to placebo. Now let's look at testosterone and estradiol. Unfortunately, maca did not show any changes in either testosterone or estradiol. The estradiol part is good because most men don't want an increase in estradiol, but no difference and testosterone is uh, disappointing to say the least. So no increase in hormone biomarkers, but people that were on maca stated their sexual desire 
did increase, so they felt better um, taking the maca. And so that is something to keep in mind. Now let's look at a meta-analysis that kind of combines a bunch of studies together and see if maca overall has any positive benefits. So basically to sum it up, it says, this review found limited evidence from four small trials that suggested that maca is effective in improving sexual desire after at least six weeks. Evidence from other studies suggests that maca may be effective for sexual dysfunction in patients with erectile dysfunction and postmenopausal women after 12 weeks or 6 weeks, respectively. However, the total number of trials, the total sample size, and the average risk of bias in the primary studies were too limited to draw from conclusions. So it looks like this supplement overall doesn't really show much benefit, although some people do say that they do feel better. So you could test it out and just try it out and see if you do feel better after you know 8 weeks is kind of the sweet spot of where you want to test it out. But don't expect any increase in testosterone or exercise performance or anything like that. Maybe a slight increase in sexual desire or libido at the maximum. Now, if you do want to take maca, I have some supplements that I kind of would recommend as good manufacturers, good brands that do make this uh, maca root extract. The first one is Nootropics Depot, which comes with a maca extract at 200 milligrams. Now, you're probably thinking 200 milligrams is way less than what there was in these studies, which was 1.5 grams or 3 grams. But remember that this is a maca extract. So basically, Nootropics Depot extracted or isolated what they think is the actual part of maca or the compound of maca that has the benefits, that makes those benefits happen. So instead of taking a three gram powder or a bunch of capsules all at once, they extracted or isolated what they think is gonna work. And they just took that dose and said 200 milligrams is equivalent. 200 milligrams of our extract is basically equivalent to 1.5 or three grams of the maca root. That is something to keep in mind. It's not a much, much lower dose. It's not you know 10% of the dose that was used in the studies. So it should be equivalent in terms of what you're getting on a dose per dose basis. Although um, I'm just kind of going off of what Nootropus Depot says, but they are a reputable company. So I would kind of trust them in terms of what is in it. Um, another supplement, if you really want maca root, is this one by Double Wood. Um, every capsule is equal to 500 milligrams. So two capsules would be a thousand. So if you wanted three grams, you would have to take six capsules every single day. If you, you know wanted to stick to what was in the studies, they took maca root. So you want to take maca root yourself, then you know there you go. Just take the Double Wood one, which is also another good company, and you know get your three grams or whatever. From there, if you want to take the extract, take one pill every single day, and you trust Nootropics Depot, then take the maca root extract from them. But is it worth it to take this supplements? I'm going to go with no, right? I don't think that there's any benefit that's been really shown here. Um, if you really want the sexual libido or sexual desire increase, there are other supplements that you know may have that benefit. If you have erectile dysfunction, I have a video on three vitamins that can cause um, erectile dysfunction, so you can check that out to make sure those vitamins are optimized and reduce your risk of that. But in terms of just, you know, maybe feeling a little bit better in terms of sexual desire or libido, I guess you can try it out. But for the most part, the studies are not showing that it has benefit. I don't think it's really worth your money. Stick to something else that does show, you know, people having an increase in sexual desire, an increase in sexual libido, potentially an increase in testosterone so that you can have multiple benefits with one supplement. I wouldn't just try to get one tiny benefit from this one supplement on its own. And keep in mind that usually a reduced sexual libido or sexual desire is from an underlying condition. So there's probably something underneath everything that is causing that. You're not just having reduced sexual desire that you can mask with this supplement. Most likely it's from a lack of sleep or having stress or poor diet and exercise habits like physical inactivity. Those are gonna play a major contributor to reduced sexual desire, dysfunction, things like that. So those are stuff that I would correct first before moving on to a supplement like this that barely has any benefit. And again, I have a video on here on the three deficiencies that can cause erectile dysfunction. So make sure these vitamins and minerals are optimized. Check out that video on the side. Please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.